This video is our 10 point guide on having the most pleasant and successful wedding dress shopping experience possible. So the first thing to do is pick a shop that fits your style and carries designers or at least types of dresses that you like. Schedule two to three appointments at nearby boutiques on the same day. You do need to get appointments. That's almost always required. And even more so right now where shops are trying to keep things a little more safe by implementing some extra sanitizing and social distancing. Next, start your health and beauty routine as soon as you get engaged. After you've got that going for a few weeks, that's kind of the best time to schedule your dress shopping day. Plus go that extra mile and go get a mani and a pedi and schedule or time your hair appointment right before your wedding dress shopping day. And then, you know, watch some YouTube tutorials and update that makeup routine. Beyond the wedding day, you'll be attending lots of events and it's a great time to feel and look your best. Also drink a lot of water the day before and have a light breakfast the morning of. You're gonna feel your best and it's gonna be a lot easier to imagine how you're gonna look and feel on your wedding day. Wear nude undies, and if you expect to wear a bra and Spanx on the wedding day, wear those too. Also wear shoes that are similar to the heel height you might wear on wedding day. Some shops do have shoes that you can wear or try on with your dress, but they're not gonna probably have your right size or the right height. Next, here are a few things to know before you walk in the door so you don't feel disappointed. First is that most dress shops carry sample sizes around eight to 10. Then they'll use clips to secure the dress so it kind of fits in your size. And those clips will help you get an idea of how the dress is actually going to fit. Next, you may or may not be able to browse the dresses yourself. Instead, a stylist might go and select the dresses for you based on the description that you give. Also, just because a shop carries a designer that you like doesn't mean they're going to have the exact dress you want in that designer. Though they'll likely be able to order it if you want to purchase it anyway. Dress shopping should happen about nine to 12 months before the wedding. Believe it or not, it could take six to eight months for your dress to even come in after you've ordered it. Then you still need time for alterations. And if you're taking bridal photos, remember to allocate some time for the alterations before the bridal session. If the boutique asks you when you need the dress, give them the bridal session date rather than the date of the wedding. Next, if you've already got a file folder or an organization system for your wedding contracts, make no exception for the dress. Keep the contract and get a copy of the tentative delivery dates. If you plan on using a payment plan, get the dates for that. And then also get any information you need to schedule alterations when the dress comes in. Keep all of that together in your wedding documents. And here's some dress terminology so you feel like you're in the know and that you're speaking the same language as the stylist. Some retailers sell dresses right out of the store. These dresses are called off the rack. Those are different than sample dresses, which are the dresses displayed in the shop for you to try on. Sample dresses cannot be purchased off the rack. If you ask for a specific dress, the stylist may say she doesn't have it exactly, but instead has a sister style that you can try on. This is a gown by the same designer in a similar style to the one you want that'll give you a good idea about the general fit. All right, depending on your personality, choose a group that's a good size for your own comfort level. Generally speaking, I'd say two to three people is a perfect number. You're gonna have lots of chances to celebrate with your entire wedding party, so don't feel pressured to invite everyone dress shopping. Also designate one of those people you invite to take pictures. Try to get the same three to four pictures of each dress that you love at the same angle so you can refer back to those, especially if you're switching shops and you're trying to look back at your favorites and compare. And last, when you do find that perfect dress, feel free to stop and step outside, grab some coffee, look at the pictures before you actually purchase. I've even known some brides who wanted to sleep on it before they purchase. Do take your time and think it over so that you settle on the dress that you really really, really want. And then finish the day with an early dinner and your favorite cocktail alongside your favorite people. You know, it's just one of those many fun memories that you can make during your engagement. Also check out our video on 15 things to purchase for your wedding. Thank you so much for watching and happy wedding planning.